can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. I'm not Even in during Batman's to be brief Batman. hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne. Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion. And neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your other job could become. That's true. Selena? Well, good to know Miss Kyle's keeping in touch from wherever she is now. In other news, if you've noticed the streets of Gotham have been a lot quieter recently, you're not alone. The GCPD has reported a sudden and steep drop in violent crime in the past few days, with the number of 911 calls falling off a whopping 60%. Many are attributing it to the decrease in the visibility of the terrorist group, Children of Arkham, whose members seem to be taking some time off. Or maybe it's just our new Mayor Dent making good on his campaign promise to bring down crime in the city. Either way, the citizens are breathing a sigh of relief. Thank you, Salinas. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't I let didn't you keep running cheat around scot free, uh, Bruce. I didn't do it's it, the Harvey. Will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. I didn't do anything. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. Harvey, listen to me. I know what you think happened, but Selena and I are just friends. Period. Don't tell me what I think happened. You're a goddamn liar. And you're a crazy motherfucker. Get over yourself. Bruce? Oh, no. Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, fuck the damn hold up. Get back in your car. Get back asshole. to your car. Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! 
Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! What the Someone hell? else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! Get the fuck out of my face. They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. No one run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? I say neither of those options. You could go fuck yourself! In. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back off! Back off, people! Bruce! Hey! Your Shit. father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest hey, of their keep lives! Keep back if you know what's good for you! Ram the barricade! This isn't the Batmobile! Just do it, Alfred! Hey! How do you like that mob justice? Fuck off! Jesus Christ. Huh? Tell. Just get us home, Al. Fast. I need to get the drugs out of my system. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Let's get rid Bruce, of these drugs. You look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. All right, and this is my DNA right here. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. Yes. No. I wish that were possible. Oh. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Hard. Okay, that looks right. Okay. Now go to the next one. Okay. There we go. Genius. That should do it. needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun.
Yes! We're back, boys! Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. I feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. It was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. I'm tired of people making me suffer for what my dad did. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh... met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore. Trustworthy or not. I don't think he would lie because he wants to see the outcome. If I want to know what she's planning, from it. then I should visit her parents' house. Couldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. What you got, Lucius? I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Nice. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Bat Cave with you. I'm glad I Bruce. asked Lucius to come with me. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. As always, Alfred. The Vale Residence. I'm inside the Vale House. Is that... Holy shit, is she dead? Oh my god. The drugs are in her. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. She'd kill her own family? Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe it, she's escalating. It this seems her personal. Mother. Right. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Yeah, very. There's no murder weapon, though. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Is that on the floor? Hair? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Well, you're not gonna, you know, take that into evidence or anything? Okay, examine the knife.
It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Because it cut the hair off. Alright. Link to that. I haven't even got upstairs yet. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Okay, anything in the kitchen? Anything over here? There's dinner on the table. Is that something? Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Batman didn't even say nothing. He just shook his head like, nah, nah, bro. That's not it. I gotta be missing something. Okay, blood splatter. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Okay, let's link that over here to the belt. Is that right? The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Mm. She's a fucking animal, Jesus. These are her parents. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. It's the same logo he was wearing on his shirt. Alright, let's bring this over here. Link it. Come on, link it. There you go. Link to. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. What oh, exactly shit. happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much and then the dad much walks larger in dose, on it. nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred. Is she still here? I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. What about the child? If anyone else is here, I'll find them. The kid. Clear. Nothing here. The kid that was in the photo, he's gotta still be here. Anything? No.
There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Oh, the poor kid. Listen to his parents get murdered by Vicky, of all people. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm Batman. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Yeah. I don't want to make him suffer more than he already has. Hey, buddy. Hey, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be alright. Why are you hiding? I heard screams. Lots of screams. So... so I hid. I didn't see what happened. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs? Fighting the police? I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that punishment? does help me. Thank you. Don't look, child. Somebody's here. Get down. Ah! Well, it looks like one of my hello, dogs. Batman. What a <laughs> pleasure to see you. Penguin? Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out to the open. Gah! I gotta protect the child. The hell? That thing's powerful. Oh, nice shot, kid. Go! Right? Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> the, oh no. They're dead. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. It's gonna be all right. I'll keep you safe. I'll get you to Gordon. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. All right. Is that Gordon? Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. She's still on the force? I thought she quit. Come on. Let's get you out of here. Oh, you're gonna try to shoot me this time, huh? Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who is the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. 
The warehouse is Veil vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. I'm gonna be at the crime scene whether you like it or not, so just deal with it. <laughs>